Hey everybody, the Bog is back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Mario Luigi Partners in Time, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm still on Swamp Volcano. Come to think of it, I'm still in the first area of Swamp Volcano. In the meantime, we're gonna battle some more Swex because we can. Alright, of course, this is gonna be very easy. It's gonna be a nice source of experience, like I said before in the previous video. There. Just getting the first strike alone is going to make this battle fast. Ooh, another pair of block trousers. That'll definitely go to Luigi, I think. Should I give it to Luigi? Let's find out. His defense will go up, speed will drop, and so will his stash. Yep, I might as well go for defense here. It's going to be a significant drop for those other two stats, but I think that defense is very important in the long run. Besides, Luigi can already do a nice bit of offense thanks to that badge he has on, so that's good enough. So, technically, by taking that badge off, which lowered Luigi's speed, we kill the enemies a lot faster! How is that for irony? Alright, we get a Super Mushroom for that. Fantastic. Would've been nice to get some more Block Trousers, because I can probably sell those when I'm done. You only need, like, two pair, and we already got them. So in the meantime, we got, like, four of these. I can handle that. Oh, great. Reinforcements are off the get-go. Kinda messed up there, but that's okay. And by mess up, I mean never got the kill. There'll still be another chance. Like so. See? That's why I left that one alone. Because that one can die from a counter. Had I used the other enemies, it would stay alive after that counter attack. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this area. Any more wax that I gotta deal with? Actually, doesn't look like it. Instead, why don't we do this? Go into Pro Ball mode, of course. Now let's go in. Let's see what we're gonna find here. Oh, a fan! Eh, that's actually pretty cool. You can use that to let the babies go off. Now, is this where I want to go? Good question. Extreme danger! Don't hit blocks with hammers! Things fall often enough here without any help from you! Huh, it's just trying to be funny. Well, I'm hitting it anyway! Screw signs. Hmm. Is there something else over here? I thought there'd be something hidden, given that we got a block like this. Huh, I guess not. But what if we checked out that other area? Actually, before I do that... Why don't I let the adults hit that switch? I mean, it's there for a reason. Aha! That's what I need to do. Alrighty then. Then we'll test out this little hole over here. It just takes to the same area, really. Doesn't matter what path you take, either way, you're going where you want to go to progress. There's another hole here! Ha! Well, this is just for a bean, of course. But you know what? I'm happy with that. I'll just head all the way back. Hey, every bean I get is gonna get us closer to another ulti free badge! Or anything better. Well, not necessarily better, but could also complement the ulti free badge. You can find it, who knows? Also, I never even read that sign. Extreme danger! Crevice on left is off limits to wafer thin trespassers. Using the propeller inside to float is also negatory. Stay out! Go away! Just. What is the owner of this place trying to keep us from? Or keep anybody from? And who the hell is writing this stuff, anyway? Can't be thwomps, they don't even have arms! 
Unless they actually wrote that with their very corners of their block. That would take a nice bit of penmanship. Without the use of a pen, of course, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh, more thwacks are here. What the? That's not a thwack! That's a Tanumba! Got lucky there! Of course you can tell who it's going to hit just based on their position. But they also have another attack where they turn into spinies instead and you have to jump over them. That's actually the first time I've seen the uh, Thwomp move. Luckily I was able to counter on the first and second try. But it's pretty nice to see a Tanuma. Of course, it's a little reference to uh, Mario 3 with the uh, Tanukis. Would be pretty cool to get a Tanuki suit in this game. Imagine if you could do that. Alright, we're gonna let the adults take over here. Because, why not? Is there like a, uh, I don't see any. This is not gonna be easy to do without. Let's do it like this. Let's put the babies over here. Then, we'll let these spin across. And then we'll go over this way. I think that's much better than what I did before. Otherwise, we'll be separated. And I can't have that. You gotta be a team! Unity! Oh god, oh my god, there's six of them! This could be interesting! Wow! <laughs> Total annihilation! And Baby Mario is at level 20! Awesome! Now what should we boost? Stash, no. Defense, likely. Attack power, or HP. I think we're gonna go with HP this time. Alright, now for baby Luigi. What's your level up gonna go towards? I think we'll go with attack power. Yeah! Like I said, I don't usually bother with speed. Because if you can handle the enemies just fine, who cares if they attack first? Didn't get the first strike there. See, they're gonna live through that. But that's okay. Let's see, do I really want to use any blocks? Probably not. Hmm, press the button of the jumping bro as he lands on the enemy. Pressing the button just before landing is the way to go, of course. And let's not bother with copy flowers yet. I don't have a lot, and I'd rather save them for bosses. Since I have very little, having the ulti free badge guy use him is very ideal. Oh my god, are you serious? Coming fast and furious like a Vin Diesel film, but I made it work. I think after a while they just turn to regular blocks. You have to jump over the boulders. Oh my god. Oh. Almost got sidetracked there. This could take probably a million years had it not been for like the standard block move that comes shortly. Whoops. Like so. That's the move. Two super mushrooms. The more the merrier, am I right? But you don't need me to tell you that. Now let's see what the babies can do over here. We 20 coins. That's good enough for me. I would have preferred a hundred, though. Because, you know, greed. Oh, that is so obviously a Tanumba. I'm not stupid.
let's dance. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Did I hit it too early? I must have hit it too early there. Mario will recover from this. Got the cure badge after all. There we go. I think that spiny move usually goes for Mario first. I don't know if it will go for Luigi first at all. But if you jump with both, then you'll get an understanding as to what it's gonna go for. And Mario is a level 20. Alright. I like this. HP is definitely looking good. That was very ideal. Because Luigi, I mean, Mario was suffering for HP. Luigi's not suffering for HP. I mean, look at him! 89! That's very solid. Stash? No. I would consider speed maybe a couple times, but right now, I'd rather attack power. Just finish the battles as soon as possible, then you won't have to worry about speed, HP, or anything else. Alright, I see a bean spot over there. Babies, you know what to do. Because you've done it tons and tons of times already, enough to get us 90 plus beans. Good thing they don't have claustrophobia. Wait, no, I don't want to go in there. there. Well, yes I do. Because I just came from there before. Okay, that battle was quite lengthy. Two red peppers. That's great. And if the battles are so lengthy, why are you still battling them, Bonga? Well, experience goes a very long way. Wait, I see a new enemy. Of course. Now, this is a red coconutter. I believe it uses the same attacks as a regular coconutter, just faster. Oh god, this move again. Well, that move is still the same. No difference there. Right, so I guess I'll just go for the regular guy over here. Oh, you just summoned a rain cloud. Awesome. Eh, it just gives him more HP. Not that it's gonna matter, you're gonna lose it all anyway. Just like that, see? Maybe if you were blue, you'd be so much better. You know, like that elite boom guy that was a total aneurysm and a half? Jeez, I, I want to forget that battle so badly. Those guys were just the eternal pain in the ass that they were. Alright, let's do this. Okay, I'll go for that bean spot later. If you get underneath here, you buy yourself more time to go to this other bean spot. See? That's a little trick regarding the, uh, Baby Cake's ability. Wait... Now... I'd like to get the Adult Brothers over here, too. Can I do it this way? Mm, emphatically, no. It doesn't look like it. I guess the babies can take over. Why not? I mean, they practically earned it at this point. Actually, I want to go back. Since they're weaker, I'd rather go for my items over here. Well, I can't use these. So, why don't we go for three shells? They're basic, I know. But you gotta go with the devil you know rather than the devil you don't. See, that's just enough to kill one of them. Let's try a regular jump. I'm on to you! Don't think we don't know better. And that was all it took. Alright. Is there any way to get the adults over here? Or better yet, do they need to be here? Question. Because I haven't really explored beyond this area before in practice. Like around this point, I practically stopped and felt that, you know what? I was doing alright. Wait, I got an idea. I know how we're gonna make this work. 
is a theory. And this is basically just to get a bean spot. But you know what? That's good enough for me. More beans, the better. Especially if you have a low fiber diet. You know, it might be nice to get rid of that constipation. You ought to invest in toilet paper after that, though. But hey, better that than uh, have medical problems. Anyways, that's a foregone conclusion. Luckily, one I don't have to deal with in my personal life. Now, if you do, well, don't share it with me. Some things are better kept to yourself. You know, private life and all. In any case, oh, oh my god, I almost left the adults behind. What's this doing here? This gear here, you see this? I mean, I can tell it's extreme, but what it's used for? I'm gonna go on a limb here and guess that's for spinning a propeller. If you were flat enough to trap the air, you'd float and catch some huge air, right? And if you spun this gear, the propeller would speed up, and you'd catch huger air! Yeah, and any flat dudes in the wind current would catch the most extreme air ever! Whoa! I kinda started frothing at the mouth there! Still, it's a pretty sweet guess, right? I have a feeling you've done this before. Okay, so I guess we should let the babies get in here first. Before we start thinking anything else. Okay, can I get up there somehow? Doesn't look like it. Unless... What if we do this? No, what the hell am I doing? Okay, I see what needs to be done. I still need to be wafer thin for this. So while this is going, the fan will actually go even further, thus allowing me to go over here, pick this up, Now this is a bit of a chore, because you got to manage both sides. Why am I balling this? Oh, what the hell? I couldn't even take care of the... Why was I still in adult form? I clearly hit X. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Set up. I think they should have put more thought into all this. One up super, that's nice. Okay, this is important. Now, this is what I need to get progress. I just wish that the babies could actually keep going like this, even if they weren't in wafer form, that would have been more convenient. However, I don't think Nintendo thought that through. So, you know, they're not perfect. I mean, this is pretty much the one flaw I can see here in all this. But it's still a great game. 80 coins. I, I feel good about that. Alright, well, we got that out of the way. I'd hate to deal with something like this again. That was a bit of a chore. Okay, what's the point of all this? Let's see if there's actually something hidden in here. Alright, that answer is looking like an emphatic no. There has to be a reason for this kind of setup. Will we have to hide? Let's go. But first, let's battle. Because it's fun. And violence usually solves problems in the modern universe. Hey, there's even violence in Mario Party 2! I mean, Mario Party as well, okay? And more block trousers.
Now, of course, the babies cannot equip them, so any extras are usually just for selling. Alright, sweet! Get us some more beans, will ya? Pretty close to the end of this area, too. I think it's just a couple more screens. What if we go down here? Money spot. I knew it! But you know what? I'm happy with that. Because money is as good in this game. Oh, yeah. Forty-three! That's a very good score! Also, I didn't want to say it while I was in the middle of the minigame, but I was kind of going in the beat of the song! That was actually pretty neat. Like the song of this level, of course. Ah, an Ultra Drop, that's great! Can I get up there? No! I'd probably have to do that from above, though. Actually, it looks like it can be done from above. What's that to- oh yeah, that's a Tanuba. I know better! Oh, that was way too late. Guess Luigi loses that power boost. But it doesn't even matter. Alright, let's see. How are we gonna get up there? Will it require a little bit of exercise in attrition here? I don't think that'll be the case. I can probably just drop down doing this to get to the Super Mushrooms, and there's four of them. It's very convenient for us. Hmm, yeah, I think the babies can do this. Oh, doesn't matter now! That uh, red coconut are practically sealed its fate! Oh, man. Wait, three shots? I thought it was only two when I practiced. Alright, Mario, let's see what you can do with poison status. You'll do it just fine. At least you got the cure badge on, so it balances out. Did you just scrap your pants? That, that, that's not good for you, Mario. Two green shells and one coin. Why do they still bother putting one coin in there? And why did I botch that? But you know what? I think the adults can do this. They didn't? How did I screw that up? Alright, let's try this again. This time, don't fail. I can probably deal with a Tanumba on my own time. There's no reason for me to go after him at this point. Hmm. So how am I going to approach this little area? What if I do this? No, that's not going to do it. Oy vey, why did I think this was a good idea? It just requires so much intricacy to get to work. Do we actually have to go down this area? No, we don't. I think there's clearly another way to get to that item block. I mean, good thing most of this video is going to be edited out because of all the enemies I've had to battle. So let's see, how am I going to get through this? Okay, well this should have used the adults. Well, I had to go down here with the babies anyway, so I'm good with that. Just gotta come down the exact spot. Like so. A hidden area! And for more block trousers that I don't even need. Okay. Well, we got that out of the way, so I'm gonna stop the video here, and then in the next part, we're gonna continue this little climb. See ya.